up, everybody? I'm Kelsey, and I love colorful things. So we're back once again for another episode of the Not So Very Challenge Blue Generation. Love is in the air. And I am filming this, unfortunately, before I get to see your guys' comments on the last video. So we're just gonna see what our girl does in this episode. I'm gonna keep introducing her to these boys and see what happens. I wanna know what your guys' opinions are. Okay, we're gonna get to the game. We're here at River just got home and she's looking rough. Hunger is kind of a big one. So let's get her some food. There is cookies. There's nothing else. There is this, uh, I think, resume eggs and toast that she was starting before she left. So we're gonna do the eggs and toast. Oh, Royal's so sad. He needs to use the potty. Let's get some potty help from dad. Oh, Robin is looking really rough. So let's get some help. Yeah, we're finishing up our little cooking vibes for our girl. I think she's on level three. Yeah, she's almost to level four. You know, we're getting close to halfway, getting also close to halfway of photography. Parenting, we're gonna have to do later. I love that she's listening to metal music, so that's absolutely hilarious. And that is now canon, that her favorite music is metal, but she only listens to it when no one else is around. <laughs> I love that. I think that's the funniest thing. I'm gonna add that to her likes pretty soon. That's hilarious. She's an icon. Why don't you get some more attention with mom? Oh, is she stinky? Yeah, let's go change Robin's diaper upstairs. Okay, River's still rocking out. Maybe take a shower. Is there like a fun one? A bubble bath? I feel like bubble bath might be fun. Her fun is not going up. Really? I feel like a bubble bath is so fun. I guess just go to bed. She also didn't do her homework, I don't think, but it is Friday. Fletcher also needs to go to bed and clean up this grody stuff that the cat is doing. Don't eat trash. That's probably super bad for you, Kiwi. Oh, Royal reached level three of imagination. He loves his books. I could so see Royal like wanting to become an author. And Letcher is going to take a shower and then go to sleep as well. So there we have it. All the family going to bed. Why are you up, Royal? Go back to bed. Did the cat wake you up? I think the cat woke him up. Don't wake people up. Yeah, we're gonna go lecture the cat again. I'm like, poor cat, I just wanna love you. And you're like kind of being cheeky here. Don't wake the kids up. Kiwi learned not to wake up Sims. Good job, Kiwi. We're gonna play a little bit with Kiwi because Kiwi deserves some love. Kiwi, I feel like, you know, there's just been so many kids that we haven't gotten to like play with you as much. Kiwi's having some private Kiwi time with dad after everyone else is asleep. Our last cat of the challenge too, because our next gen will have a dog. Let me know in the comments what kind of dog you think she should get and what the dog's name should be. Did he wake up? Royal. He's like, dad's up. Royal, go back to bed. It's 6 a.m. And dad hasn't actually slept, but we will, we will go to sleep. My daughter's gonna wake up any minute. It's like 5 a.m. Oh my goodness, Robin. She's cooing at her dad. Oh, that's so cute. He needs to have a child earn a A in high school. Part of me thinks I should just let River go to school by herself. River starts school in about an hour. Oh shoot, I haven't woken her up. All right, let's get her, I oh, know she's so tense. Why don't you go get a snack and then go watch some cooking. She's getting her cookie and she's gonna hang out with dad. I thought I told you to go watch some TV while you eat your cookie. All right, so she's working on her cooking skill while eating a cookie for breakfast. So close. We are so close to getting the level up and to fix her fun finally, but we haven't. We're gonna have to think of something fun for her to do while she's at school. Maybe like being on her phone and playing video games on her phone while she's waiting for class would be fun. Also, let's look and see who's showed up for school today. Okay, we so far we have Juliet. We have Brielle. Amazing. We've got Du or Julius. That's right. I don't know why I thought his name was Duke. We have Olive, Vincent, Nicholas Walker. Oh my gosh, we haven't met him yet. He is so cute. Yay, more of your guys' Sims are here. I'm so happy. Okay, let's go meet Nicholas Walker. I know I said I wanted a Sim with light hair, but like also Nicholas Walker. If she is into him, I would be so down. He's so cute. They just got a sentiment? Wow, apparently they really hit it off. Wait, tomorrow is prom. 
hot daydreaming about Lorenzo Woods. Okay, she's still into Lorenzo Woods. I mean, listen, I'm not mad at if she ends up with Lorenzo Woods. Fubers head remembers Lorenzo Woods fondly as memories of him begin to populate her mind. The task at hand is just an afterthought as qualities of Lorenzo manifest themselves as strong echoes that bring River intense amounts of joy. Their encounter last time was too brief and now River is thirsty for more. When the chance to meet Lorenzo arrives, it will not have come soon enough. Seems like these should be cherished. There aren't that many of them out there. It was a stroke of luck or even a miracle that allowed River to meet one of that ticked off so many of her wishes and desires. Okay, girl. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This sim of your guys' is here too. Lucia or Lucia. Oh my gosh, I don't even have to delete any sims right now. This is so thrilling. But like, where is Lorenzo Woods? Is he still like around? Oh, they have good compatibility. Okay. So maybe because he's not in our school, we should invite someone else to prom. But like none of these Sims really are prom people. Okay, let's invite our, introduce ourselves to this girl too. We're chatting to Nicholas. I felt like Nicholas would be a good friend for us. We're definitely like closest with Paige and Brielle are our like two closest friends. Girl, go introduce yourself to the new girl. I know you're not like having fun per se, but oh my God, look at her and all the boys and Lucia is like just the new friend in town here. Okay, so now we've introduced ourselves to Lucia too. Oh, and they became friends pretty fast. Oh, and they have good compatibility. That's so sweet. That's so weird that Lorenzo's not here. I guess he must have gone to the other school and that's why he was there. Well, dang it. I'm like, I wanna ask someone to prom. Maybe we should just go with like our friends. We need to ask about prom. Prom is like literally tomorrow. Who do I invite to prom? This is so stressful. None of the people that I'm somewhat interested in are going. She's like, what do I do, Paige? Okay, prom is coming. The dance takes place on Saturday evening at Copperdale High School Auditorium. Dinner will be served at the venue and the students are excited about the big night. Here are some big ways to prepare. Create a prom proposal sign. We did not do that. Ask someone to prom. Ask someone to start with friends or prepare your formal outfit. I guess we're going alone. I don't know where we would, like who we would ask. This is so stressful. I I wish I could ask you guys. Wait, I can't ask you guys. I can ask you guys on Patreon. All right, the votes are in and the Patreon members have decided that they want River to go to her first prom without a date. I think this opens up a lot of possibility for, you know, running into some people or hanging out with her girls. So I feel like she's gonna go to prom planning to hang with her girlfriends. Keep our options open. Cause once she's dating someone like that's it for her. So I kind of get that. I think that she should have a little bit of singledom. I don't know if you can invite a sim that isn't from your high school to prom. Oh, she's gotta go get ready for class. Ooh, no, she's got morning free time still. Okay, why don't we just like quickly, quickly, quickly play a game on your phone? Just like a cheeky little playing some phone games since you're having like no fun ever in your life. She really wants to have fun. Okay, okay. There's like not a TV or anything. I guess you could play games here. I feel like she's not like a super play games kind of girl. Maybe you could run with your chest out downstairs, work out on your little treadmill moment. I feel like we accidentally skipped class and I did not mean to do that. I thought maybe there would be like something here for her to like go to class, but. Oh, she's picking up a chat with Vincent. She's asking him about his day. Okay. Her fun is going up. Does she like working out? Wait, I don't know if I remember whether or not she likes working out. This is so cute. I had no idea. She likes high energy sims. Okay. Wait, is she starting to kind of have a crush on Vincent? She and Vincent seem pretty close. Hopefully one of the Sims that we like will come around, but her fun went up. So this is good to know that she actually likes working out. I need to get some headphones for her because if she listened to metal and like ran, that is like the funnest little activity for her. So she's taking a little shower after her run and then she's gonna come here and order chicken sliders because that's what her friend ordered that one time and she wants to be cool like her friend. Where are all the students? Where are they hanging out? Oh my God, there's our crush. He's finally shown up to school. We missed him earlier. So hopefully we can run into Lorenzo, kind of give him a cheeky little hey moment. Oh, he's in here chatting with Brielle. Oh my God, what if Brielle tries to fight me for Lorenzo? Let's chat with her. Oh my gosh, let's like make a little group or something. Rave about growing up. I love the fact that he, <laughs> 
See, he did check her out as he walked by. He thought she was boring before, so. Nicholas Walker wants to go to the prom with River Barry? I can't believe I did a whole poll for you guys to tell me to, for her to go alone. You guys saved me. I could have asked someone already to prom and we wouldn't have gone with Nicholas, the dreamy Nicholas Walker that wants to go to prom with us. Of course. She has so many suitors right now, it feels like. Well, at least Nicholas Walker's the only one that's shown interest in her. Oh, maybe, maybe River should like take that out of this woman's hand and show her how it's done. Cause she's got a little bit of violin skill here. <gasps> this could be fun. Vincent wants to go to the prom as friends. Wait, that's so sweet, Vincent, but I actually already have a date. <laughs> she's so popular. But Vincent just wants to go as friends, so. Okay, they're just friends, but this is so fun. Okay, no way though. I already have a date. Oh my God, he's sad. Oh my God, wait, why is it negative hearts? You asked me as a friend, Vincent. We're gonna try to cheer him up while we're snacking. Vincent, we were already asked. I'm so sorry. He's like, it's okay. Wait, this is so cute. Are they friends to lovers right now? Everything's happening. I am having too many options here. First, Nicholas, the hot boy, asked me out, okay? Then she has a crush on Lorenzo. She also thinks Deshaun is cute, although they don't really know each other at all. Then Vincent, her workout buddy, asks her to go to prom as friends and then is emotionally hurt romantically. This is wild. And to think I almost didn't go to school today. Very exciting day at school here. Wowie, that Sim is irresistible. River has a major crush on Vincent. I'm sorry, what? The Sims is throwing me for a loop. Girl has got her first official crush after she rejects him for prom because this other guy asked her out. I wonder if we could like meet up with him at prom and like chat with him a lot. Vincent has signs of the lover personality type. Lover sims crave intimacy, live to experience pleasure and are very passionate. Nonetheless, with their desire to evoke love in others, they risk losing their own identity and appear shallow. Wait, now I'm starting to like, like Vincent. What? Vincent looks so similar to her dad. I mean, not really. He doesn't have glasses or anything. He looks a little different. We could give him a different hair and then I bet he'd look a lot different. But I kind of want to mix it up a bit. But also he's so cute. Also you guys sent me a lot of sims that looked like him. So in my defense, we all like dark haired, cute guys and that's okay. I want to get to know him more. Apparently we're not going to class today and we're missing the exam. It glitched and like didn't give her the option to go. Her grades are now down. She's now a high school C student. She failed her exams because she didn't show up. Wait, that is so annoying. It didn't ask me to go to exams. My God, she's so crushing on him. And they're having a pleasant conversation. She's really doing her best to cheer him up. Is she flirting with him? Wait, was that a flirt? I bet her not to flirt with him. Okay, let's make sure that we'll like social bunny a little bit with Vincent. Get you a bestie like River legit can't live without them. Vincent! Brielle is saying funny things with Julia and Bran. Okay, everybody's saying nice things to her. I love this. Let's chat a bit more with Vincent. Maybe a friendly message. We're just friends with Vincent, apparently, wink. But we're gonna add Lorenzo Woods and Nicholas Walker, Lucia or Lucia, Juliet, Deshaun, I guess, and Julius Cobb. Perfect. Oh, and Olive. Olive is kind of cute. We have tons of teen friends now. Go off, girl. Her grades are low. I think she's kind of, uh, you know, taken up with some of the popular girls and they don't care about grades. Looks like we might have to have our girl buckle down next week, get her grades back up to A's, which means she may or may not get to go to prom. I mean, if her grades drop to a C, like she needs to get her life together. So I don't know. She might be kind of grounded when she gets home. I'm pretty sure Fletcher will be like, girl, what's going on? But I don't know if he'd ground her. I feel like her parents are kind of softies. Normally the Sims grades don't really go up and down that much when you're like at high school. It goes up and down more when you don't go to the high school, which is kind of weird. I feel like that sounds like a bug. She's feeling pretty proud of herself though. She's feeling very confident from her chat with Lorenzo, but she's flunked her exam. So Fletcher, oh my God, why are you exhausted? Fletcher, you should go upstairs and go to bed maybe, take a little nap. And then maybe Ivy's gonna have like a serious talk about her grades with her daughter. <laughs> Ivy's like, hey girl, why don't you go do your homework, River? And River's like, okay, and does the homework 
in the street. It's a little extreme, but okay. Why don't you help your daughter with her homework? And Royal is gonna come outside and chat with his sister. The whole family is having some time outside. Oh my God, cheerleading's team sports day is happening right now. Mom, can I go? Mom will probably be like, absolutely not actually because you flunked all your exams today. So you don't get to go hang out with all your friends at cheerleading sports day. We gotta get your grades up, Missy. Let's watch the cooking channel, which is your favorite. And Ivy, why don't you check on your toddler, make sure he's chilling. We should make Robin a cake maybe. Wait, the cake, is the cake full? Cause then we just use the same cake. Oh my God, we just had a full cake in there and none of my Sims ate it. We're gonna put down our son and we're gonna put some candles on our cake and age up our daughter. Okay, Fletcher's feeling a little better having his cookie. Oh, bubble blower at the spice festival. Aunt Bailey wants us all to go out. I really wanna go out, but I kind of rather like get everything together for prom. Plus we have to age up our baby, but why don't we invite over our aunt? Ask her to hang out and then we will be aging up our sweet baby Robin. Why don't we go wake her up? Aunt Bailey's coming over. Aunt Bailey's coming over. Let's give her some residence keys and invite her in. Come on in, Aunt Bailey. Oh, is she level four already of this skill? Yes. Oh my God, wait, she's aging up the baby and nobody came in here. We almost missed Robin's age up. Okay, Robin is angelic. Aww. Look at little Robin. She's gonna have green hair like mom as we've already established. And she's a wanderer, a little angelic wanderer. Okay, go off Robin. Let's give Robin a makeover. This is the cutest little kid. Oh my gosh, look at her. We got her little green brows and then we're gonna give her some little green hair like mom. Here is little Robin with the beautiful brown eyes and the freckles and the green hair. Honestly, the fit's a slay. I like it. She looks like a cowboy. I like it. I kind of like that Robin's a little bit mismatched and then we'll do some like random pants. Yeah, I think this is cute for sleepy time. Yep, we rocking it for party wear. Business up top, party on the bottom. I like it. We could do like this kind of a skirt maybe and some shoes, perfect. And then for hot weather, this is a cute one. I kind of like it. Let's just make the shoes like a little bit more comfy looking. Maybe we'll make them orange. And then cold weather wear. I love it except for the gloves, but the rest of it's great. I think we might want something warmer for the shoes, but there you have it. This is Robin. She's a little bit more chaotic, but I kind of love that about her. Oh my goodness, Robin. She looks so much like her mom. And now we're hanging out with our aunt enthused about the meal because she loves to cook. Maybe tell your aunt all about your crush. We should take a photo of our little brother before he ages up and then take a photo of Robin on her birthday. And now River's gonna try to take some photos. Oh, she's telling her aunt the, the surprise. And our aunt is teasing us. She's like, oh my gosh, how dare you? Ugh, you got me though. River's going through a phase and she's gonna pick up any instruments and yell off and you know what? That sounds like her metal face. So I love that. Let's upgrade our daughter's bed to a baby bed. She's having fun at least. And our daughter here, she didn't get to take her photos. And my aunt is using my violin. Girl, I have a crazy scheme for you. It's, you should stop playing my violin. So I'm gonna put that in my inventory so people don't play it. Be like, girl, I like wanna go to bed though. So you gotta get out of my room. Aunt Bailey, I think you should go home because it's bedtime. But it was so good that you came over. Fletcher's finishing up. He's a little tense because he this is sitting down. We're gonna flip the bed around. And I'm sure most of you really want us to adjust this or change it. We will at some point, I promise. What I really wanted to do is get a tripod and get like a cute little tripod for our girl. Not that she needs a gift because she did like flunk her test, but we're gonna give her this gift anyway because we love her. All right, so King needs to go to bed. So we're gonna have him go to sleep because he's tired. Ivy, why don't you put 
our sweet baby angel to bed. We gotta put Robin to bed, girl. She can't get to bed on her own yet because she can't walk up the stairs. Robin's alone downstairs. Poor baby on her birthday. Mom, come get her, quick. River's asleep because prom is tomorrow. I'm so excited for prom. Our brother came to visit us, which is cute. Brand just became good friends with River. I'm assuming that was over the bunny app. Robin is up and she wants to wake up her big sister. Oh my goodness. Oh, she had a nightmare. Oh, let's tell a little funny story to our little sister. Be like, hey, sweetie, I'm sorry you woke up. She'll be like, Royal has had bad dreams too. Can we like tickle her? Make some funny faces. Try to cheer her up. Honestly, nightmares suck. I get sad when I have a nightmare and want to, you know, talk to people too. So sweet. Look at these two. They just became good friends. Cute. She's still very sad. Why are you still sad, girl? All right, we're going to play a little bit and we're going to maybe put her back to bed because it's 4 a.m. Hopefully this will cheer her up. This is exactly how she plays with her younger brother too. It's so cute. Oh my God, my brother is stinky and wanting to wake up my dad. Why don't we have mom help you out since mom's already up. Ivy's taking care of little Bean here, Royal, who's having a lot of fun in the bathtub. So that's great. We're gonna put him to bed now. Good night, Royal. Or I guess good morning, it's 9 a.m. Ivy's tense. Why are you so tense? From a social bunny post, that's so random. I love it. All right, well, she's gonna go back, take a shower. Fletcher, why don't you actually cook breakfast for everybody since nobody has any breakfast? And he's going to make omelets for everyone scratchy from illness oh god i didn't know she was sick let's go get some medicine looks like she's got some sort of chicken pox kind of vibe which really i hear suck for adults so do not envy her fletcher's feeling inspired river is whew, almost needing to run to the restroom when she's up okay we're using the toilet and then we're gonna go get some omelets with the fam bam are you gonna go get some food please there you go. She wants to ask her mom for advice. That's sweet. But th let's all have uh, breakfast together first. Apparently they're all having breakfast standing at the table. We're sad today because we're gloomy. So maybe we'll have like a cheeky little jog after breakfast. Yeah, have a little jog, girl. And then we'll get you prepped for prom. Definitely brought her mood up. So that's cute. Oh my God, is that my friend walking down the street right now? That's literally Brielle. Don't know why Brielle's over, but she cannot see me this dirty. Oh my God, she's coming up to my house. <gasps> oh no, I'm in the bath. Mom, please answer the door. Mom, my friend's over. I don't know why. I bet she came over to help get ready for prom together. But mom's gonna meet my bestie Brielle. She's gonna be like, come on in. We're having a get together before prom. Wanna join? Of course. We should have Brielle. So maybe that's why she came over. Obviously my date Nicholas Walker should come. And my crush, Vincent. Sorry, Lorenzo. I'm not invited you at the moment because I want her to kind of deal with the Vincent thing. And oh my God, what if Vincent goes with Brielle? I don't know. Are you guys team Lorenzo or are you team Vincent? I felt like I'm team Vincent only because of him being so hurt after she said no to going to prom with him. And then like them having that really long conversation. I feel like Lorenzo was bored when she tried to talk to him. And then the second time she tried to talk to him, he kind of just like was tense, obviously because someone was playing really bad violin in the room, but still here we are. We're all here together. Oh my gosh. Lorenzo's sister's here. That is T. Who are you? Carrie Berry. Oh my God. We probably are related. Oh my gosh. She's feeling flirty because her crush is nearby and she wants to chat with him. What are you, what are you going to say? What are we going to say? I want to, I want to get to know him more. So let's do some small talk and like get to know because I want to know all of his like traits. Okay. Oh my God. She's feeling so flirty and he's romantic. She's learned. I really didn't even see you until, uh, you know, you asked me to prom. Look at him watching her walk away. Ah! Oh my God. Okay, River was gonna go hang out with her prom date. Where did he go? Okay, he's way back here. Be like, hey, good to see you, Nicholas. Thanks for asking me to prom. Super great chatting with you. I mean, they're really close friends too. They're they're up there. Her hygiene's looking rough. Oh my God. Well, let's go like brush our teeth really quick and like wash our hands and do some facial cleanser. Try to gussy up like just a smidgen. Okay, Nicholas is active and they just became good friends. We have 
to have crush radar. And there's Olive. Is he going out with Olive? What's his deal? Why is he following her? Is he gonna leave? Don't leave. Maybe he saw us talking with our date and was like, I don't wanna see this and left. It actually seems like everybody left, bro. Okay, this isn't very fun if like no one's here. I guess we'll go talk with our Brom date more. We'll ask him like what he's gonna wear. Okay, we're apparently here with these people. I'm assuming they live here. This is awkward. We're gonna enthuse about fitness. She's feeling so flirty still from seeing her crush. Maybe we're gonna ask about another sim. We're gonna ask him about our crush Vincent. Just like out of curiosity. I don't know why I can't stop thinking about him and talking about him and feeling feelings about him. But I don't know. It's something about the dimples. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Vincent. He's like, I don't even know the guy. She's like, okay, well, this was so fun. I'm gonna go home because I do want to change. And also I don't know the people who own this house. We're gonna have to pick out her prom fit. I know she already has a couple outfits. So I'm gonna look over and see which one we're gonna go with for prom first. I think she's really regretting not bailing on Nicholas, even though he asked her to prom first. Like she's like, why did I say yes to Nicholas when I could have just said yes to Vincent asking me to prom? Okay. River, river, her little outfits. Oh, speaking of outfits, I actually kind of want to change her cold weather look because it's not my fave. I don't know. I just feel like she could do better. Ooh, this would be so cute if it came in blue. Oh, it kind of does. I don't like how it sits across the top though. It's unfortunate. I want her to wear like a big cute sweat. Oh yes, like this, maybe like this. And then she'll wear some like a little skirt underneath. Maybe this one in black. Yeah, something like that. And then she'll wear like leggings and boots. Yeah, this is perfect. Maybe these ones. Yeah. Oh, I love them. They're like sock boots. That is so cute. I wish she could have little earmuffs. But also speaking of earmuffs, I was kind of thinking that we've had the bob for a minute. Maybe it's time for her to switch up the hairstyle. Maybe like a longer style. She grew it out. I don't know. I feel like it could be kind of cute if she grew out her hair a bit. This one's also really cute. Or like this one. I like that one actually. Maybe we'll just do that. And so she's kind of like grown her hair out a little bit or gotten extensions maybe. This is her fit right for now, which I love, love, love. But I feel like if she grew her hair out, maybe we need a different look here. Ooh, I like this. It's kind of giving like old Hollywood wave vibes. Actually, you know what I really love? I love this down one that's like kind of slicked in the front. Where is it? I think that style is so classy where it's like slicked down at the front, but the back has kind of got more volume. Okay, so we have this dress and that outfit with the gloves is an option. Then there is also this one, which has a blue and comes with its own matching gloves. Oh my God, that matches her hair so nicely. I think it also comes in a long version of this dress, if I'm not mistaken. Or we could do this one. That one's really cute too, with the like little neck thing, the neck piece. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this one. I think it's just so cute. No notes, nothing to, oh, maybe a necklace. Is there like the one with the heart? Yeah, like this one. <gasps> That's so cute. I wish it was gold though. I want like a heart necklace with gold. We can do this one. That one's cute. Okay, I'll do it with the shell. Let's get going. It's gonna be time for our prom soon. She's working on her little violin vibes cause she loves practicing it. And yes, it's time to travel to prom. Excuse me, go to prom. Oh my God, this happened to me before with a different Let's Play. It happened to me where there wasn't a prom and it glitched after all of this. Are you kidding me? There's not gonna be a prom. I think I'm going to save this one here. You guys let me know what I should do instead. If you have any ideas, maybe we'll like just make our own event that's like a separate event at a different venue than the usual school prom and have our own little dance. I miss having the prom. It's been glitching so much and I don't know if it has to do with one of my mods. So let me know if it's like a mod that might be doing that. If it's something else. Let me know what you think about all of her suitors. Are you a fan of Deshaun, Lorenzo, or the new front runner, Vincent? Or are you still team Bran, who has still been kind of texting her a lot of nice messages, even though we haven't seen him in two episodes. I wanna hear everything. Nicholas is also an option, I suppose. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye.